Here we can look at pressure tump tank uh, pressure tank setup for a well pump. See, there's the pressure gauge of the well pump, and as you can tell, it's going up and down really quickly. It shouldn't be doing this. It should be taking a while to pump water into this tank, which has an air bladder that gets squished and allows the water in and keeps pressure and allows you to use on a tank like that about 15 gallons before the pump switches on again. However, just like with car tires, you have to keep the cap on. That's the same as a car tire Schrader valve. You've got to keep the cap on and you also have to recharge the air once a year is a good thing. But anytime you hear your well pump cycling like that, you know you've got a problem. And since this is an underground pump that's in the well, replacing it's not that easy. So anyway, the way to fix it all is to put some air in this tank. And the way you do that is you switch off the pump, disconnect the electric, and then drain all the water out of the system, and then use a regular car tire pump to pump up this tank until the pressure in the tank is just below where the pump pressure switch is set to switch on. So normally it's either 30 or 40 PSI. So if you put 28 PSI in the tank and your pump switch is on at 30, then you're all set, or you know, 38 PSI and 40. All right, it's important to do that because you're gonna wear your pump out. It, most of the wear on a pump happens at startup. Okay.